It's Don, the auction professor here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Amazon and getting on gated, what it's going to take, um, and just how easy it can be if you actually follow the steps and look into it a little bit. I know for many, uh, being ungated is a big issue because they can't sell a lot of things for RA or for FBA as well, too, just because they're gated in that category. The one stumping block that most people get to is actually the invoice part. But we're going to go right over to the screen and we're going to talk about ungating. So here we are at Seller Central. For those of you who know Amazon, this is the page you would do to actually sort and pick the item you're going to list. What most people will end up seeing on many of these new items, especially in fourth quarter, you want to do this right away. I mean, you're going to want to get on gated in some things as soon as possible to get the history up. So come fourth quarter, you're going to be all set. That's my take on it. Do it how you want. But, you know, for me, I want to be ready for everything. Now, Hasbro, I can sell some items and Hasbro and others I can't. Many categories or company names, you can get on gated in that category or that company name, but there might be some items that you just can't sell. So when you get to this section, you're going to literally, if you've got, let's say, the Hasbro Connect 4, um, you can hit the listing limitations apply, and it's going to tell you what you can and can't list. Now, on the other ones, you see it says show variations. You're going to have to click show variations just to see which items you can or can't list, because in some cases, I can sell one of one item, but I can't sell variations on them. There's no rhyme or reason to a lot of this for those who actually have done Amazon for any length of time. What you're going to do to get on gated, if, you know, that's the case, I don't mess with much of these games unless it's really a hot item, then I'll worry about it. But you can hit the request approval, and it's going to bring you here. So if you didn't get immediately approved, it's going to come up here again for a secondary uh, approval method. And you're going to hit the request approval, and what's going to happen is you're going to have to supply a letter from Hasbro, which probably isn't going to happen, or at least one invoice um, from a manufacturer. Just one invoice. That's all you need is one invoice for that, those items. 10, 15, 20 of them, whatever the case may be, whatever your limitations are. Like if you're going to a wholesale, you're going to be required to get so many of some items in many, many cases. You can't just buy one off on many of the ones that I deal with. It has to be quantity. You may not have to pay immediately, but you're going to have to order quantity on some of them. Not all of them. You know, Amazon may require you to have so much quantity, may not. It just depends on the category again. This is what you would face at this point here. You'd have to have an invoice. There's no other way around this this part of it here. I can promise you I haven't seen any other way. I haven't heard any way. I haven't seen any other video. If there is another way without paying a service or something, you know, it's unknown to me. I don't know everything, so, you know, who knows? Maybe there is some way. But for me, this is the end of it without an invoice. There are ways to get invoices, which I'm going to show you in just a few moments here, too. Now, once you've been approved or something, you're going to see the same thing, obviously, here. But let's let's pick one here. I'm approved in Mego, have been since last year. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of people that are approved in it without even questioning or, or asking. Um, but for me, I've been approved since last year. Just before Christmas for fourth quarter, we got a ton of these. Now, you got to watch out whatever you sell. The other key thing you got to think about is the actual product ranking. If it's got a high rank, I'm not going to mess with it. Some of these here, like this is 200000 That's still within a range I would mess with. We actually did the Wonder Woman as well as several others here. This has a 71,000 ranking, which was pretty darn good for us. Um, and I sold a bunch of them. So again, I'm ungated, literally. If I go to listing limitations, apply, it's just sell yours. That's the difference. This is what it looks like when you're ungated in something. So with this one here, we're ungated, so I can sell it. Listing limitations apply. So other people will see the apply to uh, sell this item. They may have to supply invoices. Now, I have invoices for this because we actually bought a bunch of these on a wholesale deal. So that's the difference uh, you see here on this. Now, the conversation yesterday steered to a specific site, Entertainment Earth, which is a 100% legitimate site to get wholesale deals on. Um, and we'll pop over there real quick, and I'll just show you as well here. This is Entertainment Earth. This is probably the easiest one you will see to get approved to do wholesale with. Um, it's a good start for those of you who um, are trying to get into it and just want to get some uh, invoices in here. Now, Amazon, again, there's no rhyme or reason. So just because you're ungated in something you buy doesn't mean other items in that same category will be ungated for you. It, it doesn't mean they won't be, but you know, there's no guarantee in, in uh, Amazon world, I would say. 
So like with this site here, now the prices you see here are straight retail prices. You have to actually set up an account. I'm not going to show you the ins and outs and give you the pricing information on this one here because I do have an account. I don't want to violate any terms of service or anything like that by openly sharing their wholesale rates. Because again, there may be different wholesale rates for different people. I don't know. I don't know how that works with them. I'm very selective on anything I would ever buy from, from this site. Again, it's a decent site. There are some stipulations and things that you have to know about on here. One reason with that, you know, if you pick your own shipping method, which isn't, again, they're recommended, the FedEx is their recommended, they're not going to cover damages and stuff during shipping. That's going to be covered at the post office. So, you know, there's no returns on some of those items here, and they may not tell you that in advance. So just keep that in mind. The other aspect here is that they as well sell their same items that you see and you can get wholesale. They sell them on Amazon. Here's their account. There's more than 5,000 of those items that they sell up on Amazon. They, I'm sure, have an eBay account. I haven't looked into it. Not my concern. So we're just talking about getting ungated today. With this here, you can buy any of these items at wholesale once you set up the account. To set up the account, the, the basics you're going to need is a business company name. In most states, you can get a DBA to get yourself a name, even as a sole proprietor. So you'll have to check into the laws. I'm no you know, legal expert on that in any way, shape, or form. So you know, look into it. Um, in my state, you can get a DBA no matter what type of business you are. So you also need a EIN number or other documentation like your license, a copy of this to supply to them. And then it's just a, a basic process of filling out the rest of the information, company names, information, sites, and all that kind of stuff. And it's usually just a few days before you get approved. Sometimes it's even quicker than that. I know nobody who has declined a account with Entertainment Earth. So, you know, it's it's a, a easy in for some of these items. The only thing I can tell you here on this is you're going to have to be extremely selective on what you're going to sell. And you're going to have to look it all up, cross look on everything. Do any site app you can do or think of, Camel Camel, Camel or Keep or anything that you can think of to use for any of these sourcing and checking on the history of these items. Ranking is key, though, as I said, for any of them. So when you find an item, keep that in mind, all those other factors. You know, how quickly does it sell? What's the ranking and all that kind of stuff? The other thing I can warn you about on this site is that their discount, their wholesale discount rate is not very good. Uh, in some cases with items that I found on Entertainment Earth that would be worth selling, I can get the same item from another wholesaler for almost half what I can get it for from Entertainment Earth. So just keep that in mind. And in some cases, you're competing against them with the items. So, you know, you really got to watch out what you're doing on sites like this. The one thing it will do, though, is give you an invoice. So if, let's say, you have RA options for some of these same items, you can order it from them. You can get an invoice immediately before the product even shows up and then use that invoice to get yourself on gated to sell your FBA items from, you know, RA trips and things like that. That will work, too. You're not violating. You're not doing anything wrong. You're selling the same items. Now, one issue that you might have to think about as well, too, just because you got an invoice for these items, you might find some other RAA items that you bought a whole bunch of thinking, I could sell them. It's the same. It's Action Figures. It's Hasbro. Whatever company you're looking into. And you may run into the fact that one movie line you can sell the toys from and another one you can't. So I always check into that, you know, while I'm out RA or whatever I'm going to be doing with it, whether it's wholesale or not. Now, I have bought stuff from the site. They do have a, um, let me see, where is it? Um, they've got a damaged goods section. Um, the best ones are newly added in my book on this side if you're going to look for something before people get swamped with this. Because once people get into this, there's a ton of other people buying from here as well. too. It's kind of like an Alibaba for toys in America, I guess you could say to some extent. Um, but again, all of these you'll get ungated in if you buy from this company. It's a wholesaler. When you submit a uh, application to be ungated on Amazon. There's many different processes, but for toys, Amazon already has a complete list of valid legal wholesalers for every one of these items here that Entertainment Earth sells or any other wholesaler on the planet sells. So when you submit a application, it's automatically done. Uh, chances are a person doesn't even see it. They see the header, they see the numbers, they see your account number, they may be able to digitally compare this or whatever the case may be. But in some cases, I've seen people get ungated in, in some areas because of invoices within an hour or less. Um, other items, though, such as like collectibles, 
they actually have to physically look at an invoice because there's no, you know, UPC code for almost all those items that we sell. Vintage vinyl is a, a perfect example. The 45 records, there's no UPCs on any of them. Like on a record though, since I am ungated in selling vintage vinyl and vinyl in general, or even CDs, I can create my own, you know, obviously um, item listings. So I'm given the option to add my own number in there and the whole works for items that aren't in the catalog. So that's another aspect of it. But with stuff like this, it's pretty much automatically approved with the invoice. All you have to do is have the invoice. So in some cases they have deals, they'll have dentage or not perfect boxes that they will sell that you can buy those items at a wholesale rate and then flip them around and sell them on eBay. You can't sell them on Amazon again for stuff like that. For those of you who are new to RA or new to FBA, I don't send in any boxes unless they're in mint condition as just as good as you'd see them on a store shelf because if something happens, you're gonna get dinged for it right off the bat. Um, here's just a perfect example on this Doctor Who here. Um, this one sells right now about $88 to $95 on Amazon or on eBay. Either site, they're about the same price. You can get it around $65 or $70 bucks from these guys. You can get it other places they are around $40, bucks. this exact example. Now, I'm not going to give you out the wholesalers that I use. Obviously, you're going to have to do some legwork. They're all out there. They're all available for people to find. You know, there's a ton of wholesale companies out there that just sell toys or whatever you want to do. Toys are usually what I mess with around the fourth quarter or some religious material or um, CDs and things along that line. DVDs do very well, Christmas and seasonal ones as well. I do a lot in toys. Wholesale is a really good um, business plan. Uh, it's got great potential if you do it right, if you investigate it right. But again, once you've purchased the item, you have an invoice. You can download a copy of it. They can email you a copy in a file that you can then upload here. You click this and literally you're going to select the file and upload it. You could add some comments stating, you know, you've got many other invoices or you're going to be doing this or you're going to be doing that. Chances are they're not even going to read the comments. If they recognize the vendor again because they probably are just scanning these invoices in, they're just going to approve you right away. Because it's done, it's purchased through a regular vendor, you've been approved through that other vendor, which is licensed. They have set rules they have to follow to sell to somebody as a wholesale basis. So say Hasbro tells Entertainment Earth that they have to do this, this, and this to be able to sell to a certain person as a wholesale deal. So they've, they've agreed to that. They filed the rules. So the invoice you have filed those rules so you're automatically approved through Amazon. They don't go back to Hasbro and check this stuff out. Once you've been approved and you've got the invoices from a certified and legally allowed wholesale dealer, you're all set. That's pretty much all there is. Once I've done that and submitted invoices, it's pretty much been the end of it. So wholesale is honestly the way to go on this. Um, if you get the right wholesale, again, on Entertainment Earth, you're going to have to be very, very selective. There's a lots of ins and outs with Entertainment Earth. You just have to know which are the best items because, again, as you see here, they sell the same same items. Not all of them, you know, and some of them will sell better in other areas. But once you have that, in many cases, you're ungated in many of the items this company sells. So then again, once you start going out in RA and you're already set to go in some of these categories, you may not make a lot of money off your purchase from Entertainment Earth, but you can make the rest of the money back from RA to items in many cases. Many other folks do it, and it is successful for them. So you can look it out on the net. You can look on YouTube as well. I'm sure there's other people talking about this. But this is a good way to get in on some categories and some areas. But again, research everything. Know what you're doing before you make purchases, because you may not be able to return many of these items. With some of the wholesalers that I deal with, once I make the purchase, there are no returns unless it's a damaged good as it arrives at my doorstop. And it has to be checked in before I sign the paperwork, too. So just keep that in mind. When you're citing a bill of lading or your invoice or, you know, shipping delivery confirmation notices or anything like that, you got to verify every single item in those boxes before you do that. If you sign them and something's not right, you may not get credit for it as well either. It's a big company. They do all the major toy companies too. So, you know, if there's something on the list, that's your option. Buy 10 of something from them or 20 of something. Get the invoice, RA a whole bunch of the same items, and then boom, you're good to go. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. They could hit you at some other point in the future, though, with other items and say, hey, I'd like to see an invoice from an item, and you may not be able to produce it. Worst case scenario, you won't be able to sell in that category, and they'll tell you to pull the listings down, or they'll pull them down for you. So really, that's about what it takes to get ungated in these categories, an invoice. 
And again, Entertainment Earth is a valid, legitimate wholesaler. You can buy wholesale stuff from them with a valid invoice that you can submit to Amazon. There's a ton of wholesalers. I've got better sources for wholesale items than Entertainment Earth, so I don't mess with them too much. But once in a while, they'll have some dented items that I can flip real easily on eBay. Or once in a while, a hot item will come out, something that somebody's missed or undervalued, and then boom, I can swoop in on those specific items. Well, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.